I'm too small. Ah, that's better. Once upon a time, there was a rather strange king who collected trees. Yeah. From all over the world. He loved his trees, but he loved one tree more than all the others, because it was a chocolate tree. He really loved his chocolate tree. He used to rush out into the garden first thing in the morning and stand next to it and say, oh, I love you, chocolate tree. I really love you. And he loved it so much that he proclaimed a new law. If anyone picks a single chocolate of this beautiful chocolate tree, then by magic they will instantly disappear a hundred miles down under the ground. However, the king also had three daughters who really loved chocolates. Oh, we really love chocolates, don't we, girls? Yes, we do. I mean, it's terrible our rotten old dad won't let us have any chocks off the chocolate tree. I mean, for heaven's sake, what is the point of having a chocolate tree if you can't just go out and scoff the lot? And after six mouth-watering months of looking out of the window of the palace and going, Oh, God, it's just not fair. I mean, look at the size of those chocks. The youngest daughter couldn't stand it anymore and said, Look, girls. Our dad loves us far too much to magic us a hundred miles under the ground. Let's rush into the garden and stuff ourselves stupid with great big yummy old chocks. Nice idea, shouted the other two. And all three princesses scooted into the garden with their mouths wide open and their fingers ready to pick. But no sooner had they plucked one each than, oh dear, oh blimey, all three princesses sank deep down into the earth a hundred miles. At midday, the king called his daughters to lunch, but they were nowhere to be found. No one had seen them, and the last thing the king suspected was that his magic spell had got his own daughters. He thought they were good girls who would never go against his wishes, which they were, really. They were just crazy about chocolates. And as the king walked sadly in his garden, worrying about his daughters, he noticed his chocolate tree had completely withered away, and there was nothing left but a pile of empty wrappers. Oh no! My beautiful, beloved chalky tree! Howled the king! Oh! And he summoned his royal magician. Magician, why won't the chocolate tree grow anymore? Uh, well, said the magician, like, does anyone know what day it is, man? <laughs> Concentrate, said the king. What's the matter with my tree? Oh, wow! Oh, wow! This is like a bad omen, man. Like, your chocolate tree is not going to grow, like, until your daughters come back, man. I mean, king. In that case, proclaimed the king, anyone who finds my daughters can have a big prize and marry one of them. And somebody, please clean up these chocolate wrappers. I don't want to be reminded of my poor lost tree. <laughs> So, all the young men in the kingdom who weren't busy went searching for the king's daughters because of their great beauty and kind hearts. And three of the king's gardeners decided to search for the girls as well. Well, they had nothing better to do since the chocolate tree was dead. And they searched, searched, searched for ages until they were exhausted and lay down to rest in an enchanted wood and decided to sleep there for the night. The two eldest found themselves some comfortable moss to lie on, and as there was no moss left for the youngest, they made him sleep on a pile of thistles, because they didn't like him much, and made fun of him behind his back, and called him stupid. They all three went to sleep. But at the stroke of midnight, the eldest felt someone shaking him and woke up and saw a little gnome beside him. Good midnight, it said. Get lost, said the eldest. Plop! <coughs> oh! <coughs> said the elf and went to the second. Eh, good five past midnight, it said. 
Shows off, said the second. Bosh! <coughs> mid nose, said the gnome, and went to the youngest. Good ten past midnight, it said. <coughs> Hello, said Stupid. Can I help you? Oh. <laughs> well, at least you're a nice and polite young man. And as a reward, I shall tell you where the king's three daughters can be found. And so he did. Hey, what could you with me? Really? Yeah, well, that's great. Come here. Thanks. And in the morning, Stupid led his two friends to a deep well. Come on, come on, look. A well that had no water in it. Guess what's down there? He asked them. I don't know, uh, slime or uh, rats? Is it? No, no, no. The king's daughters. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. But the other two just laughed. Uh, 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 uh. We're not going down there. It's disgusting. <laughs> hey, uh. I tell you what, stupid. You go down, and uh, and we'll stay up here in the nice sunshine to 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 pull you up again when you're finished. I mean, it's a it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys," said stupid, and down he went into the dark, slimy well, which was horrid and full of poisonous spiders <laughs> and giant rats <laughs> and, 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 and creepy, crawly things which were so disgusting, I don't even know what they were called. <laughs> 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 